Hello everyone, I'm Jasmine from Battery Energy Storage System Order Execution Department. Today I will introduce you CNI Battery Energy Storage System in Dongguan. At first, let's talk about the background. In 2022, the new installed capacity of national renewable energy is about 152 gigawatts, accounting for 76.2% of the new installed capacity of national power generation, of which wind and PV as the main force of domestic re renewable energy, at a total about 125 gigawatts of new installed capacity in 2022 increasing 22.05% from the previous years. In addition, PV energy forecasts a global wind power and PV generation share 20% by 2025 and 67% by 2050. By that time, the share of traditional energy generation will be only 70%. At present, a large number of new energy power generation injects into the grid system. The intermittent and volatility of new energy power generation have destroyed the balance of the power grid source for load. The traditional grid system is difficult to cope with the load pressure brought by new energy power generation, and the new energy power consumption has become the primary problem. For CNI battery system, a favorable environment promotes the development of industry and commercial energy storage. On the one hand, in recent years, various parts of the country have taken the initiative to widen the peak and value price difference on the electricity consumption side, broaden the profit of industry and commercial energy storage and indirectly drive the development of industry and commercial energy storage. 2021, the NDRC launched the notice of further improving the time-sharing electricity price mechanism, which on the basis of maintaining the stability of the overall level of electricity price, better guides the electricity consumption side to shave the peak and the fair value improve power supply and demand situation, and promote the consumption of new energy as well as requires localities to scientifically divide the peak and value hours and reasonably determine the peak and value tariff spreads. On the other hand, current costs of energy storage here are on a download trend. Lithium cabinet price have fallen sharply since 2023, driving down the cost of electromagnetic energy storage. Considering both factory, China's CNI battery energy storage system has entered the growth period of development. A number of CNI battery energy storage system projects has been taken into use in many places. The project location of Jinko Solo's CNI energy storage system in Dongguan, where the ambient temperature range is from 0 degree to 40 degree, the altitude is less than 2,000 meters, and the relative humidity is from 5% to 95%. The configuration requirements of Dongguan Xiaodong New Energy Company Battery Energy Storage System Project is 2.5 MW, 5.7 5.375 megawatt hour with on-grid operation module at user site, according to the peak and value hours of 10 kilowatt electricity consumption for large industry of Dongguan Province. Two charging or discharging cycles per day are needed, namely charging at daily hour and discharging at high hour or peak hour in summer. From the perspective of the entire power system, the application scenarios of battery energy storage system can be divided into three major scenarios, power generation site, transmission and the distribution site, and the user site. The application of power generation site are mainly power picking, all auxiliary system, uh, system 
frequency regulation and renewable energy grid connection. At the transmission and distribution side, battery energy storage system is usually adopted for relief grid congestion and delay transmission and distribution expansion and upgrading. From user side, self-generation and self-consumption of electricity, peak to value price average, capacity tariff management and provide reliability of power supply can be realized by battery energy storage system. Tinko Solo's scope of supply for this project is CNI battery energy storage system. The application of battery energy storage system is to realize self-generation and self-consumption of electricity and peak to value price arbitrage. Next, we will see the project construction of Dongguan Xiaodong New Energy Company Battery System Project. This project solution is constructed by Jinko Solo CNI Products Sangiga, which is designed from five layers, their battery pack, BMS system, fire separation system, and cloud platform. Considering safety, long life, performance, strategy, and intelligence, there are three significant advantages of Sangiga. First, Sangiga adopts liquid and cooling battery system and better and harmonious theorem management. Second, Sangiga has the advantage of flexible application and easy installation. Third, Sangiga has efficient fire separation system. About the details of battery pack unique state design, structure design and thermal management design are taken into account. From structure design side, the battery pack can support for packed level 5 protection and its protection level is IP67. At the same time, anti thermal thermal runaway post-jet isolation is assembled on top of the battery modules, as well as special fireproof material is assembled on the top cover of the pack to effectively prevent thermal spread. From thermal management design side, with better thermal management, the temperature difference inside battery container can be kept lower than 2 degrees, where non-homogeneous refined flow channel design is adopted to improve thermal management accuracy, and more working models of liquid cooling method with multimodal pressures control make it efficient. About a professional fire separation design, Sangiga adopts a total flooding fire extinguish system using Novank 13230 as fire extinguisher agent, as well as the aerosol compatible fire separation system equipment according to different specifications, mainly could the building in consumption gas detection, smoke detection, temperature detection, gas fire extinguish device, external explosion proof, exhaust fans, and the fire audible and visible alarm. The fire alarm controller and the main control system of the protected area are hardwired. In conclusion, by changing the inside consumption, Sangiga is compatible with 1000 volt or 1500 volt systems for more flexible application scenarios. Meanwhile, Sangiga supports parallel construction of multi machines, flexible application, and easy expansion. As explained before, Sangiga adopts a pack unique code plant runner design, system multimodal precision control, and the lower temperature difference is less 2 degrees. Various operation modules such as peak shaving and demand management are available, and the cloud platform management is compatible. For Dongguan Xiaodong New Energy Company Battery Energy Storage System Project, Sangiga all-in-one liquid cooling solution is proposed, whose specification is shown here. At DC side, the nominal capacity is 250 kWh, rate voltage is 768 volts, and charging or discharging cell rate is less than 0.5 power. While at AC side, the rate power is 100 kW, 
Rated AC voltage is 400 volts and rated frequency is 50 hertz. Its operating altitude is less than 3,000 meter and protection level is IP54. Let's see the design details of Sangiga All-in-One Liquid Cooling Solution here. Sangiga All-in-One Liquid Cooling Solution consists of 5 liquid cooling battery packs, 1 high voltage box, 1 100 kW PCS, and 1 4 kW liquid cooling machine. Each pack consists of 48 cells in series with a rated capacity of 280 hour. The high voltage box contains BMS, the protection and control system, which are used to manage and protect the entire battery cluster running state. Separate battery room and electric room is for easy installation and maintenance. At present, electricity is distributed from 10 kW pushbar to the user load by a 5000 kW ampere transformer. The point of integration of battery energy storage system is at user side, namely 0.4 kW. Since Sangika all-in-one liquid cooling solution adopts the pre-installed design and is highly integrated, which saves the construction cycle. All-in-one liquid cooling solution can support maximum 10 machines in parallel. Every 5 Sun Giga machines work in parallel for Dongguan Xiaodong New Energy Company battery energy storage system project. And their arrangement is in the same direction, where 800 mm behind the cabinet, 1500 mm in front of the cabinet, and 100 mm between the cabinets. Besides DC battery cabinets, bidirectional meter is installed in AC cabinets to measure bidirectional AC power flow between battery energy storage system and user load or 0.4 kW bus. Meanwhile, an anti-flux meter is connected between battery energy storage system and 0.4 kW bus to provide the direction of power flow to EMS to prevent power flow go back to the grid. The EMS system control strategy will explain as follows. The operation strategy of Dongguan Xiaodong New Energy Company Battery Energy Storage System project is to achieve the maximum profit of peak value arbitrage do not send power back to the grid and do not exceed the transformer capacity, namely anti-flux strategy and anti-over capacity strategy. For anti-flux strategy, EMS monitors the active power P of the total income meter and sets the active power lower limit L for anti-reserved flow. When P is less than flow, the anti-flux control is triggered. Here, according to the electricity price stage, two situations are stated. First, when the electricity price is in the peak electricity stage, the up meter of the discharge power of each device is lowered, according to the discharge power of the energy storage unit. When the price of electricity is in the valid electricity stage, According to the SOC of the energy storage unit, the energy storage unit with small SOC is prior to be charged of to offset the control current. For anti-flux strategy, EMS monitors the transformer's apparent power S and the anti-overcapacity control sets the transformer's overcapacity threshold H. When S is bigger than H, the anti-overcapacity control is triggered. Overcapacity level 1 alarm is reported to the station level EMS. When the energy storage unit is charging, the energy storage unit is controlled to stop charging. When S is still greater than H, each energy storage unit is controlled to discharge according to the exceed capacity value. When the energy storage unit has been discharged and can no longer achieve anti-overcapacity control, overcapacity level 2 alarm is reported to the station level EMS. 
At last, according to the project construction static revenue of Dongguan Xiaodong New Energy Company Battery Energy Storage System project can be calculated. Assuming the depthness of discharge is 95% and charging or discharge expenses is 93%, the revenue at first year including tax will be RMB 1.078 million and the total revenue in 10 years including tax will be RMB 8.922 million. Here, revenue curve in 10 years is showing, and combine the investment, the payback period of Dongguan Xiaodong New Energy Company Battery Energy Storage System project is about 3 to 4 years. The Dongguan Xiaodong New Energy Power uh, Battery Energy Storage System project is currently working well, and the round trip effects at POI is higher than 80%. 7%, which is beyond our expectation. Thank you very much for your attention to Jinko Solo CNI Energy Storage System in Zhongguan, Guangdong. The system presents this time is an innovative solution designed to meet today's growing demand for CNI battery energy storage system. We are committed to providing efficient, reliable, and intelligent energy storage systems in order to realize the sustainable utilization and optimal allocation of energy. Our products cover a variable of application scenarios, from building energy management to power load forecasting, can provide customers with comprehensive energy solutions. In addition, our team has profound industry experience and professional knowledge, and can provide customers with one-stop conducting and service. We will continue to be competent to creating values for our customers and contributing to the global energy transformation. Thank you again for your attention and support.